Good morning, happy Thursday, March 16th, 2023. We have six days left until spring break is over. March 22nd, 2023, we return to Apex, our SJSU classroom with our completed performance task, ready to go, preparing to present on March 24th, 2023. So a few of the materials you will not need are scissors and glue stick. So if you have those, you can set those to the side. We are not going to need those today. But some materials that we are going to need today are our packet. So we are going to need our performance task packet with our directions, as well as our pages that we are going to fill out all about the animals, habitat, predators, diet, defense mechanisms, and wrapping it up. Then you are going to need a pencil, coloring supplies, whether that's your colored pencils or coloring crayons, colored markers, however you so choose. Um, you need to make sure that when you are creating your board that it is nice and neat and it is also colorful. So making sure that you are creating wow work that is completely filled in and you can see the text that is within the packet that you are writing in as well as your imagination. So that takes me to your expert groups. Each scholar was assigned an expert research group that they were to complete, and that was one of four animals. The springbok gazelle, monarch butterfly, three-banded armadillo, and the ostrich. So after completing your research for either animal, you are going to then begin part one of our animal defense research presentation. You are going to create your animal. This animal is made up from your imagination using the knowledge you have gained from researching your expert animal group. Now, let's be clear, I'm simply reading the directions that is also within your packet. So if you need to go back and reread, no problem. You are going to make sure that you are creative and take your time. Your board needs to be colorful, neat, and free of spelling and grammatical errors. So make sure that you complete your poster board with the following information. I know that our buddy class, Mrs. Straysner's fourth grade LSU, found the boards at the dollar store, the dollar twenty-five store. So they are the three banded, three fold, trifold. Um, presentation boards that you can go buy, you are going to need those. You're going to need to create your animal name, which goes on the inside middle part of your board. Then a picture of your animal, which you are going to draw independently. You are not going to be able to find this animal online. You could get creative with it and maybe go online to um, Adobe and edit an image of your animal mixed with other animals and then print that out. Make sure it's colorful. Make sure you print it in color. Um, you can even go so far as putting it into your Google Drive and printing it once we get back to campus on March 22nd. You're also going to identify your an animals, enemies, and predators. Three animals on paper must be provided and draw a picture of um, one of those predators, which you can build from your imagination as well. Make sure you also have your animal's habitat. Interesting facts, you want at least three interesting habitats about interesting facts about your animal. Um, you are going to also draw the anatomy of your animal. So a major part of our research has been creating diagrams. So you want to create the Academy of Anatomy. Answer the questions on the Academy of Anatomy paper about your animal and its body parts. You're also going to identify the food that your animal eats. And then you are going to go on to part two, which is writing to entertain. So just a synopsis, you are going to go over the academy of your animal. You are going to list interesting facts about your animal, its enemies. You are going to draw its predators. You are going to color in where your animal might habitate, so where it lives. 
and then you are going to go on to the parts of the world in what ecosystem your animal lives and the adaptations the really fun part is that you can simply just go with your imagination you don't have to come up with anything that you are going to write in it's already written into your packet and don't cut it out don't glue it onto anything yet we are going to do that together you're going to create your interesting facts your food that your animal is going to eat and the most interesting facts about your animal and that is the completed piece um part three is going to be your gallery walk presentation so this is going to be on our fourth grade wild night fundraiser you are going to make sure that you have your poster board ready we're going to do this in class and now me and liliana are going to get started and if you have any questions you can just drop a comment down below and i can comment when i'm available all right you guys talk to you soon